Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today doing the Friday, November 19th, the zone preview. And uh, it's a four fight card. There's a, uh, it's highlighted by Demetrius Andrade and Jason Quigley for the WBO middleweight title. We'll get to that one last. I'm gonna give my preview and prediction of this card um, and what's going on. So we're gonna have first on the undercard, a women's titles going on the line, 140 pound of women's titles. Again, I don't really pay attention to the women's division, so um, I'm just letting you know there's a women's title match to kick off the main card. Then there's also um, a flyweight title fight. You're gonna see Julio Cesar Martinez, very entertaining champion taking on uh, veteran McWilliams Arroyo, which should be a pretty good matchup right there on the undercard. Uh, two little guys going at it. Then you're going to see um, a... I might, I might have the, the names wrong here because this guy was a substitute uh, challenger, but uh, Mirajan Akhmadalaev, the unified and undefeated uh, super bantamweight champion at 122 pounds. He holds both the WBA and the IBF titles. He's making a title defense against, I believe the guy's name is Hector Velasquez or Jose Velasquez, one of the two. He's a last, he's a last minute opponent that um, just last week got assigned this fight, uh, offered this fight, and he took it um, because uh, Ronnie Rios, veteran, former world title challenger, had to pull out. He either got COVID or he suffered an injury, so now. Akhmadalaev is just going to stay busy and take on this Velasquez. I think he's going to dominate Velasquez. I don't think this... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to dominate Velasquez and either stop him or get a decision. But I think he's going to come in there. I think he's ready to go and he's hungry. I think he's going to score a knockout victory here. And you got if you guys haven't seen Akhmadalaev fight, you guys are missing out. He's a good, uh, solid little fighter. He's actually number one right now at 122 pounds. He's a unified champ. He defeated Daniel Roman uh, earlier this year. He stopped Ryosuke Iwasa, a former champ, and now he's trying to keep his himself at the top of the division, but he has two belts. He's going to be joined by the winner of Brandon Figueroa and Stephen Fulton Jr., and basically it's going to be between him and the winner of that fight for who the top dog is at 122, but right now he's sitting pretty and he's um, he's been champion uh, since January of last year when he beat Roman, and um, he's really he's really uh, motivated. And I think he's going to come out uh, probably a little angry that his opponent fell through. And I think he's going to take it out on this Velasquez. I don't think he'll overlook him. I think he stops him, retains his unified championship. That's a pretty decent uh, decent person to watch on the undercard. The fight itself might not be great, but he's talented and he's fun to watch. But the main event, the undefeated WBO middleweight champion of the world, Demetrius Andrade. I currently have him number three at middleweight, 160. He takes on Irishman. And thank you for the correction on my uh, breakdown video. Somebody um, said he was from Ireland. I thought he was from the United Kingdom. I apologize. Jason Quigley, um, and he is the challenger coming in. He's only lost one fight in his career, but he's taken on... He's coming off his career best win, a, a stoppage of Shane Mosley Jr., but he's never been in a ring with somebody um, on the talent level of Demetrius Andre. Andre is still trying to showcase himself for hopefully a unification bout at middleweight or um, a dream match with Canelo Alvarez, who he's been calling out forever. Um, you know, this is just one of those stay busy get a win, keep your title type fights, but he needs to not overlook Quigley in this one. You know, I think he's a heavy favorite coming in and he should be, but Quigley is hungry. Quigley wants to, wants to win. Um, and he's coming with everything he's got, you know, but I think his talent compared to Andre's is very limited. I think Andre's going to outbox him, outclass him. And to be honest, I think Andre's going to get a stoppage win here in the middle to later rounds to stay undefeated and keep his world title and and I think he needs a stoppage win to really kind of show himself to everybody you know um because if he doesn't go out there and just dominate these fights then he's never going to force one of these other guys to fight him um it also leaves him open to get hit and that should be a good thing uh, leaving himself to be a little vulnerable because you know what if he gets uh I'm not saying he needs to go out there and get himself knocked out by any means but if he's willing to exchange with his opponents, 
a little bit. Now, I'm not saying he's got to do it the entire fight, but he should get in there and make it a dog fight and go for the knockout just to get some of these guys drawn out that he wants, like the Triple Gs and the Charlos and stuff. Because then he could really put a stranglehold and say, they're ducking me and they're running and they're afraid to fight me because I'm willing to get in there and mix it up and fight. You know, eventually, that's how Paul Williams, uh, it was to his detriment when he got knocked out against, um, against uh, Sergio Martinez, but that's how he ended up getting those kind of fights because he didn't just fight tall all the time. He had to start mixing it up. And some of those guys, they're, they're going to be more willing to fight you if they see that you're more willing to mix it up. So um, I think Andre, I think he's going to dominate this fight. But you never know. I mean, um, again, Jason Quigley is hungry, and he's coming off of his career best win. So we'll see what happens. But I'm going Andre, middle to later round, stoppage win. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes the distance. But for his sake, you know, I want to see, I do, I would like to see Andre successful and at some point attempt to unify belts. But, you know, um, he's got to, he's got to get out there and risk it a little bit more. He can't just settle like he did against Liam Williams. He came out strong early and he did that also with Masiev Selecki. He comes out strong and then take, takes his foot off the gas pedal, especially when the other opponent starts mixing it up with him takes his foot off the gas pedal and just settles for a one-sided decision but he doesn't get that that's a, that's not entertaining to most people that people aren't gonna uh put the pressure on uh those other names to fight if if he's gonna go out there and have those kind of performances so he needs to step it up he needs to go after this guy in my opinion and go for that knockout and if he does i think it's it's a better it, he makes a better case for himself to get those big fights but we'll see. But that fight takes place Friday, November 19th on the zone. I'm thinking between 6 and 7 o'clock at night, the main card is going to start at more likely 6. Um, it could even be early enough at early as 5 o'clock West Coast time. Of course, I'm going off of West Coast time where I live, guys. Um, but 5, 6 o'clock West Coast time is what I'm predicting. The latest 7, 4 fight card. Again, my predictions. Demetrius Andre in the main event with a middle to later round uh, stoppage win. Co-feature, Mirajan Akhmadalaev. I think he's going to get uh, Velasquez out of there in the early to middle rounds, but if it goes into the later rounds, I wouldn't be surprised, but uh, I think he's going to get a stoppage win in this one. And then uh, McWilliams Arroyo, I got him I, I got him losing to the champion Julio Cesar Martinez. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to end by a decision in favor of Martinez, but mcwilliams arroyo that 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 fight right there definitely could steal the show it's probably the most evenly matched fight on the card check it out and again remember a women's title fight is kicking off the shows uh, 140 pound title fight so that's it that's the preview for friday november 19th on the zone i hope you guys check it out it's andre versus quigley on the zone i hope you enjoyed this true boxing you've been hit with the truth